different uh, running order, but we need a few more people, few more regulars on the stream. Don't forget to like it. Hit the like if you haven't already. <laughs> so it's um, hi, hi, Crikes. How are you, Darren? <coughs> I've got it. I could. Uh, could have sent it. Yeah, I, I literally, I was setting everything up and I was going to get ready and set up on screen. And then that's when I found out. So I didn't have time to message you. So it's uh, one of those things. We'll look at it another day. So we're going to try something slightly different tonight with the live stream and the lobbies, particularly with the lobbies. We are going to go in here and we're going to drop the YouTube and we're going to have a at Sim Racers Arms. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the night and we're going to have at least three lobbies tonight. So you're going to have AMA, uh, at Simracers Arms, then we'll have at Simracers Arms 2, then at Simracers Arms 3. So we're going to set up three lobbies as we go through the evening. Peter Smith, what are, what are you doing, Peter Smith? Thank you very much. Thanks for your time and dedication with the streams. It's now paying off. P.S. I would have sent you... A rose for Valentine's, but that would be a bit awkward. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much. That's very, very generous. Now, because I was messing with the stream in the background... Oh, there we go. It's finally kicked in. So, the donation there on screen uh, is a little bit of a lag, but I also wanted to... Uh... Matt B, good afternoon. Uh, Darren Whitehouse, nice, nice Peter. Where we awkward and strange Peter. <laughs> That's just Matt. <laughs> Darren's just Darren's just described me. <laughs> awkward and strange. <laughs> right, I'm over in uh, Sim Racers Arms Discord voice, and we're going to do things slightly different. We're going to set up multiple lobbies. Well, we're going to change lobbies every two races. Uh, so that means we should have three lobbies today. We're going to start off with something a bit uh, genteel, shall we say. But I've been uh, reliably informed by Lewis Bloom that this is this is the one to do. This is, this is the combination. This is the ultimate combination. So let me know when you're ready in chat and we'll uh, we'll start kicking things off. Thank you, Peter. That's very, very generous of you. Right, who's going to be first in? SS Racing. Hello, Matt and everyone in chat. Ah, I need to do an update. <laughs> oh, no. Um, there is another update coming for the public uh, release. Um, and that's going to bump it up to a version 1.5.5.5.6, I think. There's a few little changes got to go in there. They're mainly to do with AI from what I've read. Right, let's start this lobby. Who's going to be the first thing? So I am currently over in Discord chat. Over on the Sim Racers Arms Discord. I just need to try something quick. See if this works. It probably won't. But we'll find out. No, I didn't think it was going to work. Hmm, it's interesting why that hasn't worked. Should have um, a bot running. Oh, there we go. It's kicked in. Yeah, it's just jumped in. There we go. How you doing, Matt? Yeah, I'm okay. Or I've been battling, battling with Nightbot all day. <laughs> oh, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it just supposedly sits in the background and chugs away and does, th does things for you. Let's see if I can find what's going on there. Do a little bit of admin while we're on. Ah, oh, okay. I hadn't I hadn't finished setting it up apparently I thought I had so if I do this one instead
Bear with me a sec, Matt. Kevin M. Oh, hey. I was just uh, driving this combo last night, although I'm the one without the chicanes. Yeah, I thought, I thought we'd throw the chicanes in there for this one. I'm just testing out some Nightbot commands, but it's uh, it's a bit a bit slow to say the least. It's thinking about things. Uh, Darren Whitehouse, Peter's flowers don't do too good in my company. Not griefing good. <laughs> right, we we will pass up on that. We will move on. We'll we'll look at that for Thursday now. Oh, there we go. No. What is it doing? Let's just see if this will work now. Bear with me, everybody. Doing admin live on air, and then we'll get some racing done. Once we've got a few more people in. Concentrating, you know I can't type and talk at the same time. Been watching long enough. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Alright, come back to that in a minute. Sorry about that, everybody. Thank you for the like so far. Very generous of you indeed. And very generous of Peter with that donation. I do appreciate it. Kevin M, hope everybody, everyone had a nice weekend. I, uh, yes, it was a very nice weekend. Very nice indeed. Uh, spent time with your family and uh, I managed to watch a little bit of some endurance racing. I, there was two endurance on the on the weekend. There was one at uh, Yas Marina and I can't remember where the other one was. On the first lap, on about turn three, I think there was five cars go off, six cars. It looked very much like an AMS2 lobby. Rafa, hello. How are you? Slow. Hello. Have a bit. Not long, just a bit. <laughs> no worries, slow. Killer Cantaloupe may, may put a message in that he was going to make uh, um, a, an effort to wake up and have a blast. Uh, and it doesn't look as if he's made it yet. So I think we all need to shout, shout wake up killer. Well, that, that, that might not sound good to the neighbours if you shout that. SS Racing. Hello, Kevin. Pete Smith. Hi, Kevin. Mine was good. And yours? Kevin M, Peter, it's been a very mild here. Yeah, we've had nothing but rain again all day today. Straight onto the weather, look at that. Can't you tell we're Brits? And Canadians, apparently. <laughs> Darren, you've opted for plain Jane thumbnail today, Matt. Yeah, I thought, thought we'd have a bit, of a, a bit of a switch up of things. It kind of follows the theme of the previous handful. It'll change again next week, probably, when I come up with something. Rafa, I'm fine here, he's hot, but other than that, very good. What kind of temperatures have you got, Rafa? Slow. Uh, I have no idea how old Killer Cantaloupe is. I think if I remember, wherever he lives, it's early morning now. You must let me know if our audio is working properly because I had another hiccup the other day with audio. Let me just have a quick check. 
Ooh. Oh, it looks like it's working. Rafa, 30. Oh, toasty. So, yeah, we're changing the... Um, the way we run tonight is a bit of an experiment that's why i asked in the community tab on uh youtube if you could give me feedback not just during the stream but tomorrow as well if you can now i can't remember if i've driven these since the 1.5.5.5.5.5 update I think I might have. Oh, it's a foggy day. Here at Old Park. <laughs> Came in. Kevin Ames jealous of the 30 degrees with Rafa. So we are going to change things up slightly to the, uh, on this stream. We are going to have two races, then start a new lobby. Do two races, then start a new lobby. And see how we get on through the evening. Well, the evening where we are. Where I am. <laughs> where we are. But it will mean a little bit of manual intervention on the top of the top centre of the screen regarding lobby name. I'm going to have to manually intervene and update that so people know what's happening. That fog clear quickly. Darren Whitehouse, the audio sounds good. Thank you for that feedback, Darren. Thank you for all the likes. That feels better through there. These things used to slide all over the place through there. Average Mike, hello, how are you? As usual, Mike, we've started uh, the live stream talking about really important things and the fact that it's 30 degrees where Rafa is. Not quite sure how cool it is where Kevin M is. But it's been uh, a, a little bit chilly, but really wet and damp again here. Hey, what's it like with you, Mike? Have you got it uh, snowy or is it all wet and windy? Minus four, nice and crisp. Thank you, Scooter here. I can't remember what the temperature was here today. I think it was about eight or nine, but it was so wet and damp and horrible, it felt cold of it. <laughs> Scooter here's re revolving. Average Mike, zero degrees and more snow today. So we had oh, a championship race last night with Old Drive, the Monday night championship. And it was in the Porsche Cup, four litre. And I've forgotten what track we were at. What track we were at, Darren? I've forgotten. Was it Cordoba? No. It was C and it was some, somewhere like Brazil or Argentina. I can't remember where it was. Perfect for snowballs. Yeah, you need it a little bit warm, warmer, don't you? Well, warmer. Zero degrees. It's somewhere on or around zero is just right for making nice, hard, compacted snowballs.
So we're doing 10 minutes of quality, 15 minutes plus one lap during the race. And we will have a safety car at some point during the race. We will be utilising the randomizer this evening as we go. Oh, right, don't mind taking a request. Too early on the gear change up. I should be manual shifting as well. <coughs> Average Mike, not so fun to shovel the snow the dry <laughs> on the driveway though. Gets a bit heavy. Yeah, really annoying when it sticks to the snow shovel as well. You know when you go to empty the snow shovel and fling it somewhere and it sticks and nearly pulls you with it. <laughs> we are quite quite fortunate in that respect that we don't get that kind of well when we get the snow that's the kind of snow we get we very rarely get the dry powdery stuff unfortunately we don't get too much snow too often Ray Norton evening all doing his police officer impersonation again how are you Ray well right, let's fill this lobby up plenty of spaces Change to the stick. Just on, just depends on my left shoulder now. Full of cold. Oh, Ray. Plenty of sunlight. Plenty of vitamin D. Honey and lemon. Doctor Matt insists. Shame about the sunshine, you couldn't have had much of that today, especially where we are. I forgot which version I was on then, I was just about to get straight down that way. <laughs> and a massive, massive thank you to all of those that have downloaded the Sim Racers Arms, well, the Sim Racers Randomizer, I should say. And thank you for the kind donations towards the upkeep as well. It was very kind of you all. <laughs> we don't get much sun up here, mate. <laughs> well, the comp the compensation to that apparently is even on a cloudy day, you'll get some of the UV rays that generate the old vitamin D, which is good for you. So I've read. So what that means, Ray, unfortunately for you, where there's not much sunshine, you will have to bear more skin for longer. You, you, you can explain to us how you're going to manage that, right? Average Mike learned a new expression yesterday. If I say the polite squad, do you know what that is? The polite squad? Oh my word. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, no, I can't think of what it is. The polite squad. It's either the opposite of what you've said or something completely different. Ray, I will wear my mankini tomorrow at work. I hope it's that bioluminescent yellow one that you've got. I've heard about that one. And can you stop sending me pictures of you in there? Having too much fun to drive it any quicker than this. I saw the... Uh... <laughs> you know, Ray, you know. <laughs> Polite squad means police, does it? Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? <sighs> Mr. Not So Average Mike.
Oh, that was a really, really weird wobbling to there. So yes, we had a championship race with Older Drive on the Monday night championship in the Porsches again, and it was a really good race. There's only a handful of us, but it was a lot of fun. Average Mike heard it at an English slash UK motorcycle YouTube channel. 44 teeth. <laughs> I have dabbled with motorbikes in the past, but however, what's the significance of 44 teeth? Is that the rear sprocket, is it, or the, the fifth gear, or the sixth gear, or...? I managed to catch a little bit, little snippet, the highlights of the Aston Martin unveiling, Formula One. However, the highlight for me at that unveiling was the GT3 car, which looks really nice. The rear sprocket. Ah, there you go. I, I weren't, weren't bad, that would be my guess, was I? Is that, is, that an, is that like an average amount of teeth on a rear sprocket on a motorbike, or is it to just Harleys or just certain brand? I don't think I've got enough fuel. <laughs> oh, I have. Pay attention, man. Again, <laughs> giving him the new Ferrari livery is red. Not much else to say. Well, you say that, Kevin, but I did notice a very interesting carbon fibre weave just over on the rear pods. It, it looked like a check, uh, like a checkered pattern in carbon fibre. I thought that was. I don't remember seeing that on anybody else's, and it did look quite a pretty car, even though it's in red. But I do like the look of that Aston Martin GT3 because I bought it. Uh, Bought out the uh, road version of the car as well at the same time. We unveiled the three cars together, didn't they? And apart from other things that are happening at Red Bull, in theory, that punishment they got two years ago or yeah two years ago should kick in this year I think so it should slow them down a little bit I don't think it'll have a massive effect because if effectively all the cars are still the same as last year aren't they regarding the rules and regs Any thoughts on the Alpine prototype car? Uh, oh, I can't read the that blooming heart on the on the chat window. Uh, 
uh, stole the show in my eyes. Ah, I could read it over that one, but I couldn't read it on that one. I don't think I saw that. Oh, a bit smooth that. Trying to blow my engine up. Tiniest of lifts. What kind, what kind of prototype was it? For a road car prototype, was it? Cryx, the Alpine hypercar is beautiful. Well, I'm going to have to look at that now. Trying to leave space side by side. Why, why is it letting us pass each other? I misread it. I thought it said let it follow Scooter here. <laughs> Average mic. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, yep. The Brexit hypercar, yep, yep, yep. Oh, I've got something to show... Uh, a few of you. I don't know whether you'll be excited. I was a little bit excited because these sort of things don't happen to me very often. I'll show you after this race. Got me really curious now. So we will go to ooh, we will go to the randomizer after this race. <coughs> we will be careful what we pick <laughs> from the options it gives us. Can so somebody in chat do me a huge favour? I want to see if this uh, night bot is working. Can you type in uh, exclamation mark Discord? If you wouldn't mind. Just see if it works. And so it seems to be very, very laggy. I might have to set up a, a different way of doing it. Let's see how long the delay is before it picks you up and does it. Oh, there you go. Oh, it weren't too bad. Oh, no. Hang on. It doesn't like it. <laughs> Average Mike. Place it challenge finally broke. Have to race from my office chair for a while. Oh, Mike. We're pressing too hard on the brake. You got your force feedback set to max. I wonder what determines the speed of the safety car. <laughs> Crying. 
Yeah, I don't, it's really strange how that's not working. <laughs> it makes no sense what it's just brought there. <laughs> Yeah, what, does anybody know what determines the speed of the uh, pace car? Because with faster cars, it does about 60 miles an hour. Definitely drummed up a tiny bit of temperature in the tyres. <laughs> Lots of trickery going on there. Hi, Pete. It's right, you're very, very quiet, Pete. Yeah, that's better, thank you. I know, I, I forgot, and then by the time I remembered, you'd already left. So basically, what I'm going to try tonight, uh, and I'll put it to the, all the guys that were left on Friday, um, that I'm going to try... Ooh, hang on a second, I'm going to try not crashing. <laughs> uh, every two races starting a new lobby. And see, see, see what that does... So it'll, it'll give newcomers a chance to get in, and it might shake a few of the, uh, the crashers who don't want to keep jumping in and out of lobbies, it might shake them away. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what I'll do is, after the next race, I will set it to uh, Sim Racers Arms 2. And then it'll match up with what's on screen then. Oh, I've just realised Matt's, Matt's not in there. Matt was in there a minute ago. He's in the lobby, but he was in Discord a minute ago. Welcome to stream, welcome along, thank you for joining. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that like. And have a chat. Cheers, Pete. The play seat is a foldable... Ooh, hang on a minute. <laughs> it's a foldable, so it has a whole long... Yeah, yeah. Well, Depends what you got bolted to it as well, doesn't it, at the end of the day, Mike? This feels so much more accurate with the turning. So three minutes plus one lap. If you want to join the racing, jump into the lobby. It's at the top of the screen. Well, it's not that one at the top of the screen. It's just at Sim Racers Arms. Oh, 
car is right in between third and fourth gear. <coughs> Although we are a second up on our previous fastest lap. I'm listening to a Discord conversation at the moment. <laughs> uh, you're right, Matt. These are so much better. Still got the, a, a little, the slide when you invoke it. Average Mike, I have my DD1 next to a level wheel stand. I have only used it as a chair anyway. <laughs> Could you imagine a DD1 on my <laughs> foldable chair? Be entertaining. It'll turn it into a jiggle rig. <laughs> Code Zero, hello, how are you? Oh, I missed my breaking point. Stay off the grass. Hold it together. Uh, Code Zero, hi Matt, do you allow the racing line to be on? I can do, is it off? I normally leave it all on. The, the, the problem what happens is the, the, last, the last lobby that you've been in, you tend to pick up those lobby settings. So I did a championship race last night, so it could be a leftover from that where it hasn't uh, I did go through and reset a few things so yeah I'll have a look for you code I, I've settled for third place now after missing that breaking point going into the last corner So what I'll do is I'll change that setting for the next race if it lets me. Sometimes it, some of the settings aren't available until you start to set up a new lobby. And then if it, if it doesn't let me, I, we'll have a new lobby after the next race. No worries, Cozera. We want everybody to get a bit of experience if they can. We don't want to exclude anybody. It's important that everybody gets experience and racing together. Thank you for the like so far. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that like. And we're on to the last lap. So if you want to race with us, get into AMS2. Look in the lobbies for Sim Racers Arms. No password. 
great to have you on board. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> have, you, have you filled a hole, have you? What did you have, Peter? What What did you have nice? Go on, make me hungry. Although I had I had a, a big dinner. I had I had a dirty dirty English breakfast at about three o'clock. <laughs> Sirloin steak and homemade mac. Oh, my word. Oh, Peter. And that's it right across the line. Enjoyed that race, they were a lot of fun. Carlos, hello. What's wrong with my AMS2? Can only find six lobbies online. You haven't got the filters set, have you? Click on the filters and reset it. I'm wedged. I'm wedged. <laughs> I'm waged. <laughs> I'm unwaged. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea. This is a weird experience. <laughs> Crikes, I have the same issue. Strange. Check for an update. Code Zero, uh, what headset is that that you're using? The audio is excellent. It is a Bayer Dynamics the MMX. MMX 150 Bayer Dynamics. It was, it was a, a Christmas gift from my wife. I did a while now. Right, we need to change. All right, rules and regs, session settings, race settings, not that one. Realism. I I'm here, Matt. No worries, mate. Go and, go and ta have a rest. So, where are we? So, I've changed that for you, uh, code zero. Right, let's go back. So we will go to the randomizer. That's right, lots of things happening then. I've got lots of stuff going on in my ears. YouTube's not updating like it normally does. 
and Carlos and Crix are having issues with the lobby. We might set up a new lobby now, actually, thinking about it. Uh, a few people are having problems seeing uh, lobbies. We've got two, pe two people reporting that they can only see six lobbies. So I might restart AMS2 and set up a new lobby. Possibly. <laughs> right, I'm going to restart AMS2. And we're going to have... all that's restarting in the background. We're going to have a little look at the randomizer. Oh, what's that one? That might be okay. We'll have a go at that one. Oh, it's still not started back up yet. Let's try again. Right, if you're looking, there's no YouTube at. It's just at SimRacers Arms and then the number of the lobby that you're looking for. Niblet, that was fun. Uh, slow, anyone here have a Pico 4? There was one person. Can't remember who it was a while ago that had it. So it's going to multiplayer. So who was it who had a Pico 4 VR headset? I can't remember who it was. Right, we'll set up the new lobby now. The, there, we can see all the lobbies there, and somebody else said they're there. So if you're watching, this is what the lobby's going to be called this time. Uh, da, 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 da. going to simplify it a little bit so at the top of the screen I've changed it to where it's going to be in AMS2 so at sim racers arms number two no password and we were going to go with Puma She's in the GT5s. At uh, Gateway. Which one was it? The short. This is a, this is a tricky track. However, this version's not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. Right, let's just check everything else has stayed on where it was supposed to be. Yeah, 10 minutes of that. 15 plus one of that Let's check that we haven't lost any of our other settings uh force driving light oh hang on a minute that was set to no force maybe no. No, 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 no i think everything else is correct yep there we go So it is at Sim Racers Arms 2 lobby. No password. See if you can find that. Cryx and uh, who else was it who was uh, struggling to see them? Carlos. Yeah, you, you, you need to be in the public release, Cryx. Sorry, I didn't realise that's where you were.
no, it's just different people. Because it's rearranging rear wheel drive, you'll get be better acceleration and different handling out of the corners. No, the Puma's rear rear engine and the the Genetta is front engine rear wheel drive. That's right. The 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 Puma um, has got a bit bit of a turbo, whereas the Genetto hasn't. And uh, fifth gear is a bit weird when you've moved from fourth to fifth. As a the gear ratios are not quite tuned on the Puma. Thank you, Slow. Yellow off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Easy car around here. Puma can be a bit of a handful. <laughs> 109 gig? Are you sure? You've got me there, Smudge. There is an update coming to move it from version 1.5.5.5 to version 1.5.5.6. But that all that really does is, um, from what I remember, is tweaks the AI corridor that they use on each track. No, I, I can't see it at the moment, unfortunately, Smudge, with me uh, streaming. Somebody else has just reported that they've had a little update. Slow, no, we can we can we can pick whatever you want, so I'll leave the classes open. Do we do we fancy a bit of a multi-class in the next race and let the uh, randomizer pick the uh, the track? Average Mike, the Puma is a VW Beetle, basically with it, yeah, with the body chucked over it. Didn't doesn't the um is it not a, is it not a turbo though? That they get the extra horsepower, 173. <laughs> Slow. Nope. No multi class. <laughs> no worries. We'll stick with the same class. Right. It's a foggy day. I haven't driven this one for a while. Let's see, this is uh, improved because it used to, once the tyres heated up, they started getting a bit, uh, <laughs> somebody <laughs> sweeping the cones up. This used to get really rear happy once the tyres are heated up, so it'd be interesting to see what happens with the hello. With the new tyres.
One tank fell. What's going on there? Right, that handles better going into there. Because the, the lift off obviously used to be horrendous in this thing. But the front end feels a bit disconnected. Which is really weird because most cars since the update feel really sharp on the front. But it could be because the the weight balance, or weight distribution I should say. I feel like it has got a, I thought it got a turbo on it for some reason. <laughs> There's that fifth gear. Interesting how the tyres have warmed up, it does feel different. It's still got this floaty feeling on the front axle. was best chums with Bernie and he, he was his confidant. Oh, okay. Mind you, I think, I think you... Yeah, a little bit. I don't think it'll be that bad to be honest. I know it'll upset the Red Bull fans, however, who's not going to snap him up? Imagine Ferrari grabbing hold of him along with Christian Horner. Um, with uh, Adrian Newey. I reckon all these deals have already been done. Yeah, I reckon Newey will go to Ferrari at the same time as Hamilton and they'll do something interesting with Christian Horner at Ferrari. Because hey, Ferrari have gone through a few uh, race managers, if you like, if that's what you want to call them. I reckon it I reckon it's already all been done.
So as you gather there, we were having a little conversation on Discord about the uh, ongoing fun and games with Red Bull and Ferrari, etc. You heard my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts? Is there any thoughts to be had? <laughs> That's the other question. Is it already a done deal and this is just the uh, fanfare and carnival of Formula One that we're, we're seeing? Hello, we parked in an interesting place. Oh, oh, hello. I take it, them are airport lights, landing lights. Is there an airport over to the left of us there? Or is it this circuit lights all over back on the track now? <laughs> are they circuit lights? They're going all the way around. What are they? What are them? What are them? Blood lights all the way around. Ah, I thought they were airport lights for a minute. Average Mike, is it me that's just annoyed by the excessively loud tyre scrub? Uh, Mike, it's mine. I have it excessively loud all of the time. I like to know the second... Not on nights like tonight, but when I'm doing championship races, I like to know the second that the tyres are starting to scrub. There you go. helping my driving but I like it. <laughs> I like to know when I'm definitely doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to improve. Be interested to see what cars people are driving so I've cooked my rear tyres. I'm going to go back to the pits and we're going to watch somebody go round just for a minute. Who we got? Crikes he's going round. Where is he finding that time from? I just need to do a quick refresh on there. <coughs> Sorry about the flashing lights and everything going on there. Uh, average Mike, ACC and I racing. You need more. <laughs> yeah, it's just just the way I I run it for championships. Good few regulars in now. Killer, hello. You made it. <laughs> Talking about you at the start of the stream. I wonder if Killer's going to make it in. I wonder if he's going to wake up. <laughs> we are doing uh, two races, then a new lobby. However, there was a little issue where I didn't realise some people were running the candidate release, the beta version, so they couldn't see the lobbies. <coughs> So I started another lobby, that's why we've got at the top of the screen now Sim Racers Arms 2. So we will do another race after this one's finished. And then we might start another lobby. It just gives people a chance to get in if they've been struggling to get in. Especially some of the regulars. And especially for you guys, subscribers and viewers of the channel. You will obviously know what's going on and when it happens. So we have got the GT5 Puma at Gateway. And we're on race number two. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I didn't think it was going to let me then. So we're going to do plenty of fuel. <coughs> Good luck, everybody. Oh, we're right down in the danger zone. Matthias, hello. Or oh, Matthias, I keep saying it wrong. Sorry. Matt, uh, crikes, man, I can go five tenths quicker in the first corner, but I kept <laughs> messing it up in the second part of the circuit. Oh. Peter, I almost subscribed to iRacing today, but thought better of it. Average Mike, it's a money pit. Peter, that's why I haven't subscribed to it, because I know what will happen. I'll kind of, Same as I have with this. But it's going to cost a lot more than an AMS2. Watch the time, Craigs. I'm, fe I'm feeling very relaxed today for some reason. Even though I did have a bit of a rush round just before the stream, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very, very chilled. Are we, are we going to go manual start? I think we better. Now, the Pumas normally get a good start because all the weight's over that rear end. Rough Justice, hello, welcome along. Thank you for uh, joining and subscribing. Here we are at the start of race two in the GT5s here at Gateway. And it's the shorter version, which is actually slightly easier to drive than the uh, really long one that takes you through a twisty bit and back out onto the oval. <coughs> but there's still some challenges in this one got this fast chicane. You don't want to unbalance the car too much through here. I don't think there was any contact with And then this is a, a late apex hairpin, long sweeping hairpin and it tightens up on exit. Then another hairpin back out onto the oval. Don't want to be sliding this thing around too much because all the weight's over that rear axle and the tyres are going to get really hot. Rough Justice, be sure to say hi in chat. Friendly bunch. Ask any questions you want. And some of us will have some kind of information to share with you. <laughs> Whether it's right, wrong, accurate. No, most of the time it's really good information from the the community Woo. I was just about to come off the brake and I thought I'm staying on it looks like it's getting a bit bit tasty whereabouts in the world are you rough justice and do you like to dish that out is that why you're called rough, rough justice and a crunch with slow sorry slow oh no I've got to get the sorry button working already <coughs> cry because that's why I don't touch eye racing <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's expensive enough as it is <laughs> without that model I probably will touch it one day but I, you know what it's like This feels better now. Now the tyres are somewhere near. Oh, short shifted. I 
understeer galore. I thought we were going to keep it out of the wall, but no. Average Mike, what do you mean? What crowbar? <laughs> I am going to try and set it up so uh, the, the regular chatters can have access to those sort of things. Oh, a little bit late on the brakes there. Sun's come out. Bad track for these, actually. Well done, randomizer. Oh, who's off? Second place man's off. I'll have a bit more on that. Oh, he's still there. <laughs> that fifth gear. <laughs> the ratio is so wide. <laughs> However, we've got a bit of slipstream. Oh. Will he overdo it? Will he overdo it? He's... Oh, he hung on to it. Well done. Well done, Custy. <laughs> oh! We're getting close racing. Hello, 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 somebody else has got the crowbar out. <laughs> it's getting worn out. Have we got them to deal with as well. Oh, I changed too early. My rear right, 104 degrees at the moment. In the meantime, Cryx has run away at the front. Lost it on the switch. Oh, don't hit him, nearly hit him. He's boxing the other guy behind. The brakes are amazing. <laughs> I've noticed it with the uh, few, quite a few cars in AMS2 since the version 1.5.5.5 update. Apparently, version 1.5.5.5 is now available as 1.5.6 as we speak, but the only there's no point in rushing away to update to that because from what I understand, mainly AI updates on that, unless anybody can tell me otherwise. The AI corridor wasn't quite set correct for the 1.5.5.5 update. So for 1.5.5.6 there's lots of points and fives, and now there's a six involved as well. I'm kind of just slamming it into gears at the moment, hoping for the best. No, not on the grass. <laughs> Maybe yes on the grass. We'll say posh, it don't hurt so much if you say it, but say it posh. Oh, hello. 115 on the right rear. Well, we were doing well, weren't we? But we pushed it that hard to get close to Carlos. 
we destroyed the right rear and left rear is not far behind it right we got six minutes plus one lap to do something about this This track is a tyre heater no matter what <laughs> I haven't got my dashboard on so I don't know what the uh, track temperature is. Well, we've closed the gap already so it took half a lap to close the gap to the lead bunch that took advantage of me. You'd think there'd be some, you know, honour amongst racers and they'd like slow down and wait for Matt to recover from a ridiculous spin that he put himself into. But no. <coughs> oh, where's Hamburger going? Oh, he's got a drive through. I didn't realise that. What was the drive through, Hamburger? What was it for? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support so far. If you haven't already, please consider eating that like button. <laughs> so much drift on these tyres. Maybe even subscribing. Have I got a. Oh, I've got a drive through as well now. My word. All that hard work to catch back up with the pack. Did anybody see any of the endurance races the weekend? I only managed to see a couple of laps of each. And the f turn three or four of the uh, lap one was absolute carnage. I've got to go wide. <laughs> oh, survived. Where's number four going? It looked like he had a disconnect or something there. We need to we need to do the pit run through now. Where is it? Oh, don't do that. I think we're in the pit lane. I definitely hit the pit limit. <laughs> I got a 10 second penalty. Will it, will it not let you into the lobby? That's strange. back out just behind hamburger so we didn't lose too much on that in lap and out lap
concentrated. Crowbar moment. Or an overtake. <laughs> well done, Hamburger. <laughs> the crowbar's out again. <laughs> to the outside. <laughs> We're about with hamburger. <laughs> is this the last lap or is there one more? We'll soon find out. One more. I thought we were going to get another penalty. Oh, too much curb there. Here comes Hamburger on a run. All right, Smudge. Hi, Paul. Was you in this one? Are you in it, Pete? Still. <laughs> okay. These weren't too bad round here, Pete, I think, apart from the tyres. So again, sorry, Pete, I didn't know what you said. Yeah, yeah. It's funny they're updating. I can't see it on my Steam. I might have to shut Steam down and uh, restart it. Let's see. Yeah, it closes the game. That's the problem. Right, let's see what we're going to get next. So, click two times. This is available for free. Scan it with your phone and it'll take you through to <coughs> Kofi or ha have a look down here. Copy that or there's a link down below and it'll take you through and you can either have it for free or as quite a lot of the supporters of the channel have done so far, made small donations towards the randomizer. So 
return to the lobby. So we'll give it Silverstone International Historic. I, I call them sit up and beg or very comfortable. <laughs> right, where are we? Hello, what's going on here? Stop jumping around. So, International Historic 2001, there we go. In the Chevrolet Cruise stock car. 2020 stock car. Wow, this should be interesting. 2021. There we go. This might be okay. Thank you again, Peter, for the donation that you made earlier. Really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. <coughs> Cryx, 118 on the rear right. <laughs> you beat me. I think I got a 115. <laughs> uh, Cryx, good track for these cars. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that race. This one will be interesting as well. So we are in AMS2 server at Sim Racers Arms number two. No password. And after this race, we will set up for another one. I think what we're going to do here, because it's a, a faster race, I think we're going to have full course yellows just to spice it up a little bit. So I still haven't got rid of that cough. How ridiculous is that? Oh, hello. What's going on here? I can't find my mouse. It was hiding. Right to start. <laughs> do they fail at a certain temp uh, not yet but I, I got a sneaky feeling and I believe at some point we will get punctures but when that'll be I'm not sure the, on the only time they fail is when you um, when you wear them out completely but they, they don't go pop or anything they just deflate and you end up with zero PSI. Well, they used to in version 1. Point, I, I did a video about it with the wet weather tyres. Who's that, Paul? Hiya, Joel. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have to go and check him out. Thank you for that. Good stuff. I'll check him out. Thank you for that. No, no. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Ah! <coughs> 
Is that what he's trying? Because he's been been at uni for a while, hasn't he? Is that what he's trying to do? Oh, okay. They they'd ne never dare let me into the choir. Hey, Darren. So we'll do this race at Silverstone once the fog clears, and then we'll set up another lobby. Uh, it could be. I won't be able to tell you till I get round the other end of the course. I've got my force feedback set to wife at this car. Fog's burning away quickly here. Silverstone Historic 2001. Oh my word, could not get it stopped. No, no good. Gotta turn that down. Right, we'll try again. Is everybody in the lobby that's in uh, Discord? Oh. Hello. You're very quiet. <laughs> extremely, extremely cold tyres. Not for long. Jump is going to have to come off. Thank you for all the likes. Welcome along, if you haven't already. Please consider hitting that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And go and check out the Sim Racers randomizer. We left that braking way too late on these cold tyres. Back to the sand. Wait for the traffic to pass. They should be drifting wide on that section, so I should be able to rejoin. I hate to drive these. of talk. Let's see what we can do. Then the jump is coming off. Gravy legs will give us a toe down this straight. Right, right, 
better for this one. Oh my word, <laughs> that drift through there. Barely any throttle. to be wobble. Oh, I lost too much time. Rafa, 2020, the year of this new this new car were both heavier and slower and less cool than the 2009 to 2019 cars. Well, obviously the shape of the car is familiar, but as a race series, it's just not something that's covered in this in the UK very much at all. So the newest thing we've got to anything like this is the touring cars, but they don't have big V8 lumps in them. Yep, that was always going to happen. Pass that car away. Oh, they're going to be here before I can get out. Let Darren past another one. <laughs> Flandering. It says race in the parks up. Oh. Soft right foot is required and I don't eat, I don't possess one of those. Thank you, Paul. Never enough buttons to do different things. Oh. What have I done to this car? Of course, don't forget, if you're watching and driving, you need a push to pass button. Rafa, and now in 2025 they will turn into SUVs and have DRS, okay. <laughs> Everything's an SUV. No, 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 no. We're still going, we're still going. Okay. So, oh, excuse me, coming through. Well, we're not going to set a better lap than we've already set, so. Let's have some fun on the way around with that. Destroying somebody else's lap. <coughs> and won't have a V8. What engine will they have then, Rafa? Oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Uh, I'll just park it there. We can watch people coming down there. Straight. 
Average Mike. Uh, I watched a race of this series on YouTube late December. Could under couldn't understand a word, but the racing was so close. <laughs> and the drone cameras, yeah, some of them drone cameras are really rapid. They're first 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 person view cameras, aren't they? The racing ones, they the uh, drones that they use. Craig's not the biggest fan of those cars. FF. Beef. Yeah, I think it's to do with the uh, st the steering configuration or the steering rack or box that they use. I can't remember whether it was this one or the earlier one that used to wander around because it got a really early steering box in it. Don't know why I'm stick shifting there. Four cylinder 2.1 turbo, okay. Mind you, the modern turbos are so good now. There we go. Oh, hello. So who we got in? We've got Matt as usual, hamburger as usual, Crikes as usual, slow, some weirdo infi, gravy legs, uh, Custy, killer cantaloupe, Darren Whitehouse, the jaw, goose honk. <laughs> and that's excellent, I like that. Well done, goose honk. Joss, Martin Kamer, driver, petrol head. Titchi, Code Zero, Paul Noble, Ivan Surfiro, Scuderia Condor, Race Tech, 77. What, 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 do, yeah, Mike, you're, you're the best at these. What, what do I call number 22? Is it, is it backwards? Sing. Sincere, backwards. Sincere 77. Look at that. I worked that out all on my own average, Mike. Uh, we got another Rafa, Algae, no order. Now, literally, all of these are regulars. So there's no excuse for the any poor racing. We've all raced before together. I really need to take my jumper off at some point. However, we've got to get this done. In behind chat. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Oh, no, you still won't be able to see it. I can't move chat either, unfortunately. I can't show you any other way. Basically, 77 E R E C N Y S, but backwards, it's sincere, is it? I had to squint to work it out. Come on, Mike. I'm not allowed to use excuses like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't read them. Ryx also auto gear is trying to kill me in big braking zones. It downshifts so fast, my rear locks up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> don't don't forget your push to pass as well, guys. Yep, you push them to pass them. Ready up. Code, uh, code zero, ready up. After lap one, and then you get 15 seconds, then 14 seconds, but it takes round here at 
probably a, exactly a lap to replenish. Squeezing around the outside gravy legs. Better leave him at least a car width to get around. Bit more rear brake bias. What I've just seen in the uh, the lineup, I think there's only three people who haven't raced with us before. That was weird. Whatever happened to that car in front of me? It's, it's almost like he hit an invisible object, and it's spun him round. Concentrating. Peter Smith, cold tyres indeed. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> These cars get your, get your concentration levels up. Can anybody explain to me what happened to Gravy Leaks? I think it was Gravy Leaks, or was it? Custy. I, can't, I don't know who it was in front of me. But when we get further round, it's just like you hit an invisible wall or dug in the ground or something, and the front end dug in and the back just went swinging round on it. Oh my word. No, 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 no. It's another car you have to talk to. So barely any throttle. Right, let's see if we can catch up with slow. I don't think we will. I'm sorry to swear. So on the edge. Are we going to get stopped? Carbion's followed me and gone really deep. 
Oh, hamburger. No, 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 no. Oh, put the full course yellow back on. I forgot about that. I forgot I put the full course yellow, full course yellow back on. He's, he's a, a newbie and he needs the um, he needed the um, track guide on so just be aware of that Yeah, it, it, this one makes the uh, modern layout feel a bit boring, doesn't it? With all the extra twiddly bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the other surprising thing is, even though it was a an old uh, RAF base, it's still got level changes. Most people think Silverstone is a flat track. Yeah, we've got this, this gently inclined down here, but then when you go back into the infield at the end of the lap, into the club convex, you've got the drop down under the bridge and then back up again, that sweeping drop down right under. And even this one we drop down again. It's no, it's no Donington Park or uh, Cadwell. Yeah, or Knockhill, yeah. I, I do enjoy Knockhill actually. Yeah. yeah it, it's up. What input? I was just going to say the most fun I've had is in AC in a caterum round there. <laughs> Some funny comments going on. Average Mike. Sound like she she shall summon the devil or something. <laughs> Raphael, one thing about the 2025 SUVs in Brazil stock car is from the two manufacturers we will go to four and each manufacturer will be allowed to have eight cars each. Excellent. Here we go. Yes, there's rumour that uh, the Verstappens are going to take over Red Bull at some point. Wow. That was going to happen. Carnage behind. Concentrating. Try and gain some of these places back. Everybody's on the limit there. <coughs> it 
Sorry, Paul. Rafa. So far, the only announced, you know, announced ones are Chevrolet and the Chevy Tracker and Toyota with their T Cross. Okay. Cry exit was me on the ground <laughs> and threw me around the corner. <laughs> oh, we're having issues around there. Cry I had my left front on the side. Left side of the curb. <laughs> it looked like you hit something. Average Mike, what? Josh Verstappen, team boss at. Ru <laughs> no, uh, there's, I think uh, Max mentioned last year at some point or the year before that he wanted his own team and the rumour mill and I'm only throwing fuel on the fire really, uh, the rumour mill had it that maybe the Verstappens were going to take over Red Bull at some point in the future once contracts kind of level out Obviously, the, the rumour mills continue today with the fact that, from what I'm hearing right now, is that uh, Bernie Ecclestone, who is one of Horner's mates, has actually advised him to resign. So, but I don't think I don't think Horner and has to worry too much, to be honest. I think I think a few people have snap his hand off with how successful he's been at Red Bull. And I kind of fueled the, the fire a little bit more by saying maybe there's uh, some movement towards Christian Horner and Adrian Newey ending up at Ferrari at the same time as Hamilton. That would be a shock, wouldn't it? Although I don't know whether... Because Ferrari have had a few changes at the, at the top of the team, haven't they, over the last couple of years? Because Bernotti was there, wasn't he, up until last year or the year before. So it'd be interesting. It'd be interesting, something to talk about. Because the, 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 so far the launch of the cars hasn't been overly exciting, but they were never going to be because there's no major changes to the, the regulations around the cars. And the cars are so limited to how much weight they can carry regarding paint layers or graphics. There's so much... Uh, carbon fibre on show again this year apart from uh, Aston Martin who booked the trend and they've stuck with their metallic green pretty much all over the car but the thing that the thing that spoilt their launch um, Aston Martin's launch was uh, the fact that I think the GT3 Aston Martin was far more interesting to look at <laughs> than anything else really does look the business. to utilise that push to pass on the last lap if it regains in time oh. I'm 
I'm finding it hard that Horner would stand the politics at Ferrari. Well, the thing is, depending on who's around him, the chances are he could change that, and that might be a reason why they want him there. Well, that's why I can, could see him going there. I don't believe that they want him at the moment. So unless, but the trouble is, us, us plebs and fans of the sport, we're not aware of what deals have already happened or not happened. or And a, a lot of these deals happen way, way in advance. It's like the Hamilton move to Ferrari. It's next year, so that's a year. He probably already done that deal last year or the year before when Nicky Lauda was talking about him. And Nicky Lauda was talking with such certainty that Hamilton would end up at Ferrari. And how long ago was that? Push the to pass too late. Only just regen. That's why it's becoming unruly. We are going to go to a new server. Straight after this, new server. Oh, we got another lap. I thought it was the last lap. Keep pushing. Only time Ferrari was good was when Brown and the guys were there and kept Ferrari bosses out of it. Well, that kind of hints to what I was saying really about Christian. Depending who he's got around him, you imagine if he's got Nui with him, Hamilton. He kind of thinks himself up. There's a chance that they could kind of say, look, if you want all three of us, you've got to not interfere. But you are right. Ferrari are notorious for their uh, kind of in-house fighting and swapping people out. Oh, a gentle tap there. It was worthy of one of those, though. Close enough. I was nearly close enough, but not close enough. Nearly worked. Woo! So yeah, it's, it's interesting. It, may, it, may, it gives another talking point, and something as big as Formula One wouldn't mind this kind of kind of chat and. Because they see it gets them into the uh, into the press, gets everybody talking before the racing starts. Get the cantaloupe. <laughs> oh no, out of fuel. No. Oh. Right, let's quickly jump in with uh, older drive. Hi, older drive. Uh, gonna set up another lobby now. Give people a chance to uh, jump in and maybe shake the tree a little bit. 
Has anybody got a request what or where we go next? What are we doing tomorrow, Paul? Oh, no, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing tomorrow? Championship race. Sleep straight. Oh, I forgot what day it was. I don't know how I can forget what day it is when I'm streaming and I only stream on two days of the week. I still still forgot what day of the week it is. Have a look what the randomizer wants to do. Has anybody got a request? Yeah, I'm gonna set up a new lobby. We got um let's find something interesting. It's funny how it's called a randomizer, but we've had like several combinations come up again. That's how random it is. Oh, that could take forever, couldn't it? The hot cars around uh, Indianapolis Oval. <laughs> right, let's set up this lobby while it's thinking. Uh, what cars do you want to do around there? Something like the P2s or it's got to be something fairly quick to make it interesting. Super carts. <laughs> GT ones. They might be alright around there, might they? You know, everything. so it's uh, Sim Racers Arms number three, and that's live now. Uh, Uh, they already have uh, Vasseur, who's a really good team principal, and we can see the team getting better. Don't see any good reason to swap him for Horner. Yeah, but it won't be for another year, maybe two. Uh, average Mike, I say, I say this as a Ferrari fan. Uh, been, been a fan since Michael drove there. And we all know red is the fastest colour. <laughs> you see, the cynical side of me says that this year potentially could be boring if you think that the cars are under the, uh, the last two years' regulations. The only thing that could mix up this year is the fact that Red Bull's penalty from... 18 months ago should start hitting them because that was linked to time in the wing tunnel if i remember the penalty was limited wing tunnel testing i might be wrong correct me if i'm wrong so in theory everybody else who hasn't got a penalty regarding aero should catch up a little bit to this year compared to where red bull was last year so it should mix it up at the front but still potentially it could have been a bit boring so, having all this controversy and Hamilton doing his thing, 
has made the start of the season a lot more interesting. I mean, it's going to be interesting anyway. I'm looking forward to this year. Just to see how much impact and how close the teams have gotten, if at all. So we have got four people over in the Sim Racers Arms Discord. got Darren Whitehouse, Paul Noble, myself and the Joel. Everybody in there is also in the lobby. Position everything. I have to do a lot of shuffling around. This, this, this could be interesting. And this was requested by somebody over in Discord. They fancied a bit of oval. We haven't done oval on the channel for a while. Carlos. If Hamilton isn't a good car this year, I think he will try his best to get uh, to get to Ferrari. Yellow Cantaloupe V8 supercars at Daytona is pretty fun. Is that the Oval Killer? Let's do a reset to defaults. Right, <laughs> like that'll do it. The trioval. Okay, we might give there we go. I got a feeling we need to change the gear ratio in these. You have to stick your tongue out like that when you're warming up your tyres in the pit lane. It helps, honest. speed we get. Uh, Peter, what do you think about the champ race tomorrow, Matt? Peter, I'm going to be completely honest. If I could remember what we were doing. <laughs> Help me out, buddy. <laughs> I can't remember what we were doing. Oh, dear. No, I cannot remember for the life of me what we're doing tomorrow. You, you, you're going to have to help me out, Peter. I'm sorry. But we could we could definitely try that combo once I know where it is. Right. So, my feeling at the moment is we're nowhere near the rev limiter in six. So it feels like there might be a touch too much downforce. And there's a bit too much drag as well.
you'll be pleased to know that damage is off. The Rallycross Mini at Taruma. <laughs> we did it somewhere else, didn't it? Didn't we? What was the track we did it at? Wait, wait, what's the track? Um, is it Velo? No, not Velo. Is it Velo Sitter? What's the one with the uh, the monkeys going, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, as the marker boards for the... What's that one? Ah! Yeah, it's right. Uh, Peter Smith just come into chat and said about tomorrow's uh, slipstream race. It's in the RX minis at Taruma, but I can't remember the track that we did them at the last time. A lot of fun. No. <laughs> yeah. Let's just close these ducks down and see if we can survive a few laps with these weird settings that I've got. Have you tried it, Peter? Have you done some practice on it yet? The other thing as well, Peter, is we've just had um, somebody in Discord have an update on their AMS2 to version 1.5.5.6. And it's a big update as well. So at the end of this stream, I'm going to uh, search out that update, see if it's there. I couldn't see it just when I checked. <laughs> I can't think of a track. I'll have, when we when we do the next race, I'll have a quick look at the, the track. Oh, I think I know which one it is. It just popped in my head. Plenty of drifting, I presume, in those cars. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what, what you don't realise without driving an oval, and if you've never driven an oval before, is the speed you're going at. When something happens, like we just had that issue, then <laughs> you don't have, to have a moment. <laughs> I mean, you have a crash. It goes on forever. Oh. Right, I've moved my chat up so I can't quite see it at the moment. Now I can. Peter, I'm sure it's a drift fest and I try and keep in check as much. Yeah. <laughs> you do kind of have to drive it as if it's meant to be driven on that race circuit rather than drive it like a rally car. But it's so much fun driving it as a rally cross car, I should say. Of course, you absolutely destroy the tyres. Oh. And with these ovals, sometimes it can take you three or four laps to get max speed or max velocity and then you've got to try and keep it 
how they're that much quicker. I have no idea. Where am I going to find it? Say, that must have been uh, slipstreaming each other because on your own you, you can't find a second. <laughs> Let's see if you can catch that car in front. Oh, it's a standing start as well. Oh no. <laughs> oh, back in one in. It's gone round. Right, I am not going to go any faster. Not without a tow from somebody. Oh. It's all down to the slipstream on this one. How, how you're like that far ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, because sitting here on my own that I cannot get any quicker than I've gone already it yeah it, it, even with the smoothest inputs around the corners I can't if I can get on the tail of number 13 I might be with a chance of bettering my time <laughs> it's over anyway. What is YouTube's thoughts on this um, on this new format as such? What was the last race we did? I've forgotten already. That was Silverstone, weren't it? Uh, 2021. Stark. Silverstone. ones at Indy Oval. We got a full house. I didn't really realise the lobby was full again. I've just thrown 20 laps in for now. No worries. Thank you, John. I, I blew my tyres up quite hard as well.
This might be a bit tricky on the standing start. Average white. The format seems to work. Doesn't affect what we uh, watch. Excellent. Uh, Cryx, I'm about to butcher my gear ratio and regret it. <laughs> uh, average mic easier for people to join. I had a... M I had a massive glitch. And you'll see it on the stream. <laughs> And now I'm stuck on top of a car. <laughs> There's carnage everywhere. That was the weirdest thing. Nothing happened. And then suddenly I just found everybody ramming me, but nothing happened on screen. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Did we all see what just happened? <laughs> uh, average mic easier for people to join between races you know, well that, the, the regulars will be either on discord or watching the stream so they'll be aware of what's happening or also it'll give people a chance like you say to come and experience <laughs> things like that I've kept my jump on as well, that's a mistake. I really didn't need to get on the back of somebody here and get some slipstreaming done because it's so far behind there. Sound like an incident's just happened. Oh, SS Racing's upside down. SS Racing, if you're listening. Darren's very frustrated because somebody hit him and it caused him to go into you apparently so he does apologise but there's nothing he can do he's just a passenger at that point well, I might just about be picking up a distant tow now ahead Ooh, watch where you go Typing whilst doing this at, at, at Indianapolis. <laughs> 100 mile an hour typing. I'm slowly reeling in it. Oh, <laughs> why am I ducking? <laughs> oh, massive crash there. I'm behind you, Darren. No, he's just had a big crash with somebody else. I'm just coming round the uh, bend now, onto the straight now. I will get closer now, I've just finished tight. It took me three laps. Just took me three laps to type that sentence. <laughs> right, 
might be careful, Darren. How fast is the safety car going? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Average Mike. Ovals are so boring. <laughs> if you lose the trap. It's true. I'm glad I left the safety car on. It's going to bunch us all back up again. At least, at least us... Us... Poor people who didn't get a very good start. I've <laughs> got another chance. It'll be so hard to overtake when you're all bunched. Cryx, someone who came across the across me on the start and it created carnage. Was that at the start, Cryx, or after? Because I've just seen another crash. And that was on the start finish. Crowd's going wild, waiting for the restart. We're all bunching back up again. It's a full grid here at Indianapolis on the Oval in GT1s. Where else can you get to do this? Oh, right at the start. ATI boy, there's been, there's been a handful of complaints <laughs> in my ear on Discord. I don't know what happened. I heard your name and a few complaints by two or three people. What have you been up to, Atty Boy? Then I saw you crash on the uh, start finish for somebody. Of course. Hello, where are they going? What happened there? What happened there? Why did why did somebody just turn left in front of you, Darren? This is going to be interesting. You're clear. Oh, front end goes really loose. Oh, now I've got the oval sputter in my ear as well. way too low on that last corner I had to give the position back oh there's going to be a crash there's a big crash where's he going where's he going another crash in front oh, through the smoke back on the hammer safety car makes a big Still difference here. to the racing on ovals. I'm so glad they got it working more efficiently now. Still inside. You still inside. Oh, got a car carrying a car there. One lane behind. In the slipstream again, working our way forwards. Five minutes plus one lap. The arrow wash. Front end goes so light. Debris. 
that's going to become a factor in AMS2 a little bit later down the line. Car outside. Trying to, okay, clear. trying to get a side draft and a slipstream at the same time. Didn't quite work. But... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Drafting. Okay, mate, too early. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who's that? Gravy legs. <laughs> Nearly took my nose off. Paul Noble skating in the mix. Do you feel like a piece of meat in that sandwich there, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> he's into me, he's into me, get off! <laughs> oh my word! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! You, how did you, did you both survive that? Plus one lap. Now back in the good slipstream. Low side, rear corner. Oh, he's properly into me this time. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Aaron? I didn't. I tried to correct because it was coming into a spin, but. Who was it? Who was it? Oh. Tarasca Tar 8. I don't know whether he's a, a watcher, but I will do. Uh, Tarasca 8, if you're listening, Paul apologises. He was trying to bump draft you and catch the other guys he does apologize oh we got another spinner he's gone a long way right what we got so we've got at least two laps another crash we're moving back up the order Oh, that was drifting all the way around there. SS Racing, Matt, yes, I saw what happened behind me. Darren was totally innocent. Uh, Frederick, hello. Thank you, Average Mike, for answering that for me. Do appreciate that. I will hopefully have the bot set up properly for Thursday, so uh, there'll be some options available to the regulars. Wow, how much speed has that car got? Where did he get all that from? Oh, the car just went really sideways in the draft. The, the, the drafting in AMS2, I've not experienced it in any other game. 
but when that car when I come back behind the car in front halfway around that bend the whole car just started four wheel drifting and following him into this bend I know I'm going to get aero wash on the front of the car but it's not so noticeable once you slipstream in somebody but once you have a car suddenly get in front of you at speed the aero wash Side by side. Still there. Harry's got so much speed down the straight, Still I have outside. no idea. All clear. He thought I think he thought that was the uh the last lap. Lookering pulling away on the radar. How oh, has he got that much speed? Oh, there's been a crash. Keep our eye on that one. Number five and number six are piggybacking off each other. <laughs> Hundred and ninety five is not fast enough. <laughs> You okay there, Joel? <laughs> and that's the other thing, when you're doing 190 miles an hour, the crashes are spectacular. <laughs> and you skid for such a long way. <laughs> I, I had a, a battle with that um, Tarasca, and he, he can't, he, I don't know where he was getting his speed from, but he came flying past me not really using slipstream and then he i tucked him behind him around one of the corners and the whole car just like started drifting because of the aero wash it was the weirdest sensation how you doing Ian? average mic yes luckily the the two i crashed into uh I'm familiar with. <laughs> I, if, if it's somebody I don't know, I won't crash into them. Croix. Ah, frustrating race to uh, lift off so many times because people send it three or four wide last second. Yeah. This is Autumn Blister 2 on PC. Man, it's so hard to drive any sort of line with the guy in front defending like their life depends on it absolutely uh, okay I'll let him know Atty boy right shall we go over to the randomizer again and yes the randomizer is available for free scan that QR code or check out the <coughs> Kofi URL just there in the bottom left let's see what we got that will be way too slow. P3s at Guyana external. Yeah, we'll have a go at that. Guyana external. P3s. See, I want to go Rocco, but because it's like a bit of an oval, I think I'm going to have to go that. Darren, uh, Atty, Atty boy or ATI boy says that he had a magnetic moment and got stuck. Uh, he put, worded it as I had a big glue moment with uh, White A. So sorry. 
Okie dokie. <laughs> Yeah, somebody else is uh, reporting that he was ghosting. Yeah. What What do you guys in Discord... Oh, have we lost somebody? We lost Ian. Oh, okay. Um, what do we think of this format, restarting the lobby? Is it too much hassle for you guys, or...? It's to give people all the regulars chance to get in. Five people short. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, just thought I'd uh, give it a try. I might try it again on because the the, other, the biggest problem is on a Thursday, isn't it? When we have so many uh, older drive gang, um, and we've had a couple of times where like Darren and um, Mike have waited quite a while to get in. So I thought if I ch change the lobby every two races, you know, you've only got thirty minutes to wait. Yes, it would. <laughs> it would. I will request it, but I don't think they'll listen to me. <laughs> they don't listen to much. <laughs> yeah. Time, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 come up with a solution at some point. <laughs> right. <coughs> uh, Cryx, yes, people were driving like the next corner was the last. <laughs> Carlos, done for today. See you on Thursday. No worries, Carlos. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great rest of the day. Hope you get some uh, get somewhere cool. Have you got aircon? I know it's hot where you are. Average Mike, not really any ranked races. Just open lobbies set up by community for easy to do by yourself. Yeah. Uh, Ryber, hello. Welcome along. How are you? Uh, I'm Rimba. Oh, hello. And yes, he was ghost to me. To oh, okay. Uh, ATI, it, uh, the kick doesn't work at the moment. We've in the last in the last six months, we only got it to work once, and that was on Thursday last week. Uh, average Mike, unknown people are just friends you haven't met yet or enemy. <laughs> well, the thing is, enemies are kind of. Uh, what can I say? They con they're a construct of influence, aren't they? If if we all stayed babies with no in outside influence, we would have no. We wouldn't be an enemy because when we're babies, we're a bit like dogs, aren't we? We get upset for a while, but then we forget it, and we're right the next day. So it's external influences, and yeah. I've got to be careful, haven't I? <laughs> what, are you, what are you making me go down that route for? <laughs> no, I'm not going down that route, average Mike. <laughs> nice try. We need. <laughs> Couldn't find the right wording. No, no, it's okay. I'm not going down the political route. <laughs> it's too dangerous for everybody involved, allegedly. If I just end every sentence with allegedly, allegedly, I'll be all right. <laughs> oh, you nearly started me off. That's the funniest thing ever. I've been ever good lately as well. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of uh, like the Formula One style kind of rumour mill, getting involved and having a chat about that, or everything else. 
so so oh yes whilst whilst we're all here uh, something that very rarely happens for me does anybody recognize this logo does anybody recognize that logo i think there's a few of you out there that will recognize the logo it, it's 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 a game that we spoke about that's about to be revived <laughs> It's got a G, a T, and R, an R in it, and something that very rarely happens for me <coughs> is winning anything. <laughs> and I want a hat. <laughs> I want an exclusive hat. <laughs> Does anybody know what game that is? A G, T, and an R on the uh, logo. Uh, Frederick, do you drive race room as well? I do drive race room, not very often, um, but. Uh, streaming nights, Tuesdays and Thursdays, is mainly at the moment AMS2 because it's just so easy to do. And we've got a good following in the AMS2 department. However, with uh, titles coming out very soon, in another next week, we've got the early access to uh, Lamar Ultimate, which I do want to try. I won't, I won't lie to you. You may see something on that. Um, and obviously the new titles that are supposed to be coming out over the next few months, a few of which are a bit... Are they? Are they actually coming out? <laughs> and what form will they be in beta or... Oh, hello! Uh, this is awkward. Th this feels very intimate and awkward, everybody in Discord. If you've... If you, yeah, if you've got one eye on the stream, I would uh, have a little look, but if not... Um, I'm not quite sure. No, I understand, but it's a bit awkward. Somehow, I'm sitting in my garage, in my cockpit, with somebody sitting on my lap, facing the opposite way. <laughs> and they're creeping, they're creeping closer. I don't know whether I like this. This is getting unnerving. They're creeping closer. I think they're doing it on purpose. <laughs> it's cryics. <laughs> oh, oh, a bit close. I can smell your breath. <laughs> you need to wash them overalls. They're starting to smell a bit crikes. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't take any more of this. It, it's, it, it, we, 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 we arranged this for tomorrow, crikes. It's the 14th tomorrow. <laughs> Valentine's tomorrow. Right, I'm off. <laughs> Everybody, people are joining. Somebody else come to join as well. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Darren. <laughs> I don't know where you came from, but you was you was very fast appearing. <laughs> I wanted to go with the Rocco, but then I realised we're doing the outer loop on this track, and I thought the Rocco would be a bit slow for this one. funny crying. Friedrich, you're going to drive the Bathurst two and a half hour in race room. Excellent stuff. When When's that? I haven't really looked at race room for a while, to be honest. I've been busy with a lot of other things. So you'll have to excuse my ignorance. for that corner. <coughs> well, good luck with that, Frederick. You have to come back and let us know how you get on. Let us know when it is. And then come back and let us know how you get on. Talking of... <coughs> ah! <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> right. 
I will I will come back and finish off my sentence, but we will sit with we will sit with who shall we sit? Uh, we'll sit with the Joel as he goes round, and you'll have to bear with me because I need a, a comfort break, and I'll have to subject you one of these so we can keep the lights on. I think what we might do for this one is uh, I think we might go from the back on this one. Keep an eye on things at the back of the pack. <coughs> Thank you for all the likes so far. It's very generous of you if you haven't already. Please consider hitting that like button. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe. Let's have a little look at the setup because potentially there's something there. I don't think uh, suspension needs a play, but maybe a touch of that. And <coughs> we need to put that back up. Wonder if I can get out. Staying over this side this time. Emergency action required. Steering feels really good on these. Oh, the grass. That's a funny flash on the screen there. I think a little bit of rear brake bias is required as well. Slap times. So nice. There's a misfire on these as well. So we're going to throw 20 laps in just to be on the safe side. Not that we're going to get that high. <coughs> You're back in. Have you had the update, uh, Ian? AMS2. AMS2. Uh, Smudged up was in earlier, um, and he could he did 
did he let the update run and it took forever it was huge and he updated him to a point point six on the end but then he couldn't join the lobby because he was in the wrong version so i don't know whether he was on uh oh, okay <coughs> Yeah, I wonder if he had. He was on the um, one of the beaters because there is one sitting there for uh, the beater. It's not very big, but there's been about three updates for the beta version today. I know uh, we are all moving to point six at some point because the uh, they made a mistake with the. AI in point five. It's the corridor that they're allowed to run there. They're supposed to be narrowing the corridor. Yeah, yeah. Right. Good luck, everybody. Uh. <coughs> right, here we go. It's going to be interesting. Kevin M. Frederick, uh, what are your five class of cars in race room? That is a great question. Thank you for that, Kevin. Not getting control of the car then. <laughs> Where are them two going? Oh. <laughs> Where's it going? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was stuck together with somebody. I was on the outside round turn one. We released, I went across the grass, it was the only way I could get unstuck. They had a big tank slapper went across the track and then somebody else had did something at the same and I don't know who they took out. That was you Paul. <coughs> Very weird how they stick together like they do now. I was too busy looking at buttons them rather than getting on with the driving. There's a bit of that as well. It's a, so, so, <coughs> sounds like a very angry wasp, doesn't it? <coughs> oh, I need to send the brake wires back a bit. Literally, I'm gonna really count here. Oh, the car jumping up in the air there. Too much rear bias, do you reckon? Oh, still going. We'll have it forward a little bit. And we're on. Oh, look where you go, Matt. Race five. Oh, snappy. <coughs> See if we can catch the Joel. It's going to be tough. Race with Joel quite often. He's fast, firm. 
And if you're fair with him, he's fair with you. minutes plus one lap. Let's get out the throttle then. Whoa! <coughs> Eminem, only ask because I have only tried a limited amount of race room content. Yeah, I. it's one of those. Luckily you can uh, you get to test some of the cars, which is really nice. You can do a test drive if you're going to the shop. You probably already know this, Kevin. I don't know why I'm saying it. That comes in handy sometimes. But sometimes you need to be in a race like this to really get the feel for a car. If you're just test driving around the limited tracks that they've got. Oh, uh. sure who that was <laughs> an interesting turn left at me across the grass Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. And <laughs> tell me about it, Kevin. Oh. Average Mike! I might need to make sure my daughter goes to sleep. Have a continued good stream, Matt and Jeff. Thank you, Mike. I'll tell you what, why don't you get her to watch this? This will soon get her to sleep. Or just play the audio of me wittering on. <laughs> soon have her to sleep. Thanks, Mike. You have a good rest of your day. Try and keep warm. Um, it's, it feels very strange telling somebody to try and uh, get cool and then other people to uh, other people to try and get warm I was I was being mopped <coughs> right let's see what we can do with the eight minutes left thank you Mike have a good one uh, Kevin in better than being bored though right <laughs> to back out the brakes then. No! No! Trying too hard around the outside on the dirty stuff. No, that was all of my own doing, that was. I, I uh, locked up going into turn one, nearly running to the back of somebody, so I had to come off the brake and open the steering, which put me on the dirty stuff, and then I went back on the power way too early and just pirouetted on the exit.
Trying to press too many buttons. Trying to manage the lobby. It's not happening. Concentrate, mate. Did anybody guess what the what the game was that the cap was from? <coughs> and we don't know do we know how that development's going as well? <laughs> oh hello. Squeeze me, coming through. <laughs> Craigs. <laughs> oh, we got a little pod of cars. Oh no! What happened there? It was what it was, Kev. <laughs> oh, coming through. <laughs> Peter Smith. <laughs> yeah, I won that. <laughs> I, 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 I can't remember the last thing I won. <laughs> It took a long time to get here. That, that was a uh, enter your email to go on a mailing list, and you'll be entered into a, a prize for a limited number of so-called <laughs> so-called limited number of hats. <laughs> you beat you to it. Kevin M. Hope the game turns out to be great. Hey, but yeah. Do we know where? Do we know what's happening with it? I haven't looked to see what's happening since Christmas, really. Oh dear, Matt's having issues. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six people in Sim Racers Arms Discord. If you want to join the chat, there's a link down below for my Discord. Oh, I've got. I mean, I might be completely wrong, people. Right? I don't know, even know whether he was on a beta. Just much mess about with the beaters at all. I know that version's coming, but I didn't think it was ready just yet. Slipstream behind me. It's the job. Miss Smith, fingers crossed, Kevin, but they're past a. <laughs> I don't even know whether I read that twice now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry, Joel. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, gl I glanced down to turn my mic on <laughs> and forgot there was that kink in the road. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> oh no Kevin M, maybe I have learned from their past mistakes, trying to remain positive, yeah. I think we got over at the end of the day, haven't we? It's like uh, a Seto Corsa 2. There's actually rumblings now that we won't see until 2025. I don't know how true that is. Allegedly, I've got to put allegedly at the end of every sentence I say now. trying to get back up the inside. Pete Smith, you trying Le Mans Ultimus on the 20th. I, I think I might have to. <laughs> I think I might have to. I wasn't going to. I wanted to see a bit of a reaction from others first, but from what I've seen... Do you want me to? I think that's the fairest thing to do. Do you, do you hardcore followers of the channel want me to have a look at Lamar Ultimate and give you my opinion, bias, relatively biased or unbiased opinion, depending on how you view me. Who just took you out, Joel? I thought I saw somebody take you out on the start finish line just. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's just had me. Right, do we have a request or we do we want to leave it up to the randomizer? Uh, <coughs> not enough not enough grid slots, so the only the only oval we've got is the uh the junior. Say again, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you fancy 15 minutes of Lamar? 
with a quick car. What shall we go with? Uh, yep, yeah, can do. Say again. Yeah. How's that? Turn off the safety car, yeah. Thank you for that. Good shout. I, 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 I did try. We just did the P3s at, what was the track name of that? Oh, Goyani. I remember. Keeping a note of what we're doing and where we're doing it. We're doing quite well for time tonight as well. Peter Smith, yes, that will be an interesting and different stream. Crytics, I'll probably try Le Mans the 20th. Peter, same here, Crytics. Yeah, it might be worth a look. It, lo it looks really good, what I've seen of it so far. Just concerned, I want to be able to turn off the... Uh, the camera movement inside the cockpit. I'm not a massive fan of that. <coughs> Killer! I was going to call it after the last race, since my shoulder is giving me a, a fit where I can't miss the... <laughs> fair, fair play, Killer. My shoulder, left shoulder's been playing up. I sit down the last string and I tend to be turning and using the shoulder instead of relaxing. I think we had that conversation. Matty boy, background music is niche and chill. Is it? Depends Depends what it is. There's a real mixed bag in there. <laughs> Giving him. Having a real brick tea tonight, Matt. Fish and chips. What else do you add? Fish and chips, salt and vinegar. I like plenty of vinegar on the fish. Plenty of salt on the chips. That's, that's my... Uh, um, the only other thing that tends to be had uh, is either uh, curry sauce, chip shop curry sauce, or uh, if the further north you go, people have gravy, meat gravy. I like the curry sauce every now and again. <coughs> Metal Morrow, where are we at? Uh, let's give this a go. So we are on race six of the stream. 
in the second, still in the second lobby. Breaks. There is another gameplay where there is pretty much no camera movement, so you can definitely change it. Oh, excellent. Thank you for the update, Crikes. I really do appreciate that. I was worried when I saw the fir very first stuff come out. Um, I forgot what track of that was that. Well, that's awful. It's a good track. Very bumpy. So here we are at Le Mans. The fog has lifted early in the morning. 10 o'clock qualifying session. Oh, old tyres. <laughs> okay, 5 pm can't come soon enough. <laughs> Brakes feel a bit slow to uh, activate. I must have a weak left leg all of a sudden. So yeah, we got an interesting year ahead with uh, game development. That that windscreen wiper is really annoying. <laughs> Might have to put it on fast so I can see where I'm going. All right, we go. <laughs> We've got some work to do on the setup for this car. It's got DRS, hasn't it? I forgot. I forgot it's got DRS on this one. Didn't notice Darren go. I didn't notice Darren go. Did he? Len, hello, Colt tyres indeed. Good evening. Probably not going to participate today. Just came back from dinner with friends. We celebrated my birthday. Which oh, happy birthday, Len! Can we have some happy birthdays for Len in chat, please? Happy birthday to you. I'm going to do it in a pop singer voice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Len. Happy birthday to you. It's a cock cock cockney, cockney pop singer. Thank you, Len. I hope you was all singing along. We 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 started a tradition in our family about twenty years ago <coughs> that when we sing happy birthday to anybody, I mean anybody, we all sing either like a pub singer or or everybody out of tune on purpose. I mean I do it on naturally. I'm naturally out of tune. I am, but. Yeah, we all and the the noise we make when we're all together and we sing, we sing like it's quite horrific. <laughs> it's a ple ple pleasure. Cheers, Lynn. Oh, there's a chicane coming up. Still got a bottle in my hand. I, I wonder if drivers of Lamar have the same issue. Sing singing happy birthday with a bottle in their hand coming up to the final chicane. <laughs> I'm having trouble with this vehicle. Now the tyres are a little bit warmer, it might be okay. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay. You know what? <laughs> you singing chain of mine. I'm going to join the thing. <laughs> oh no, that that means I'm an influencer. <laughs> Oh dear, I influenced somebody into playing. <laughs> Sorry, driving the simulator. <laughs> I singing. Oh no. Hilla, I lied, I'm going to call it. Got a jolt through the wheel from a rammer. That made it worse, so that's it for me. Oh, I'm sorry, killer. Try and rest up the best. I've got, I've got no advice for a, a, a knackered shoulder. Because mine's knackered and everything I've done so far hasn't worked, so I have no advice whatsoever. I probably need to be over this side of the circuit for this one. You need to be quick, Len. Nearly two minute cut off. Thank you, Killer. Have a great one. It was the least I could do if it was your birthday yesterday, Len. Raise a, raise, a, raise a toast and have his, having his thing thong. Uh, we did a couple of uh, championship races around here with Older Drive. <coughs> Hour long races around the mall. We, we even did the first one, I think it was, in a, an absolute balmy thunderstorm. It just got worse and worse and worse. Yeah, missed that one. Uh, get a cantaloupe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, doctor. <laughs> think, oh, sorry, I'm laughing because I thought you said yes, doctor. Then the thing, and I misread it. Yes, doctor thinks it's muscle tightness related, but no amount of stretching helps. Oh, good though, yeah. Your body will get used to it eventually. I, I did watch uh, quite a large YouTuber over the weekend, and they were uh, they were racing their second favourite simulator, I racing. And I did ask the question, and the answer was absolutely fascinating. I asked what their expectations of oh dear. Come on, man. I've only got four seconds to get across the line. We're not going to do it. We're not going to settle out. But it's all going to be over. No. <coughs> and the, his, their answer was absolutely fascinating when I asked the question what their expectation of AC2 was going to be. In the fact that I know it's they're, they're a big fanboy of AC One. <laughs> yeah, killer Doctor Man. <laughs> I completely misread the, <laughs> the flow of your message. And when I asked the question of this very large YouTuber, Twitcher, what are their expectations of AC Two, they gave me such an answer I was a bit taken back. <laughs> In the fact that they said they had no expectations of AC2, they were just enjoying what was out there already. Now, for this particular YouTuber and Twitcher, I was expecting a bit more of an answer, if I'm completely honest. So I don't know what to make of that particular answer. <laughs> I keep forgetting doctors. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we're, we're struggling for good doctors at the moment in the UK, especially where the area that I live in. I couldn't possibly answer that 
But what do you make of that as an answer, regardless, regardless of who you think it might be? The answer to what are your expectations of AC2 if you're a big an AC fanboy? I was expecting an, an, a proper answer. <sighs> Mazero, 64. He's taking people out on purpose. Can we encourage him gently in AMS2 chat not to do that? Okay, Craigs. Now, everybody I've spoken to, including you guys, we've got big expectations on AC2. And uh, Lewis Bloom put an interesting video out, uh, I think it was last week or on the weekend, of his reaction to somebody else's opinion of it. Um, and I think... My I put a, I replied to Lewis's video. I put a message underneath, and my reaction to it is there is literally no excuse for Kunos not to deliver a, a perfect sim. They've got ten years or more data from the original AC. They've got no end of data and feedback from all these other simula simulators that we all drive. And if they could get the first one nailed, there is no reason why can't they, they can't just smash AC2 and hit the road running. Well, I thought it was a fascinating answer from this particular person. And I've got an opinion on it, but I won't share it at the moment. I've got an opinion on why he answered the way he did. Reading between lines, etc. Anyway. Right, here we go. Let me just arch this over. Come on. Yes, yes, drivetrain. Crikes didn't get past second lap. Oh no, I didn't get past, I didn't do that anyway. Uh, Matt B, you're gonna try. I think I will. I I did ask the community a minute ago whether they wanted me to do something on the day, and a couple of people answered. What do you think, Matt? Should I do something on the day? Do a stream? Is it on the twentieth? What day does that fall on? So that falls on the third. Is it uh, on the Tuesday? So that could fit into Tuesday, but it depends what time it lands. Pete Smith, the only downside uh, we've not heard or seen much of about AC2, which is very odd, or I'm looking in the wrong place. No, there's literally nothing out there. Craig, I'm on pole anyway, so that's okay. <laughs> Squeeze me! Cut me through. Uh oh, I was on the brakes and it still didn't happen. Oh! Killer uh, Cantaloupe, I agree with you, Matt. There's no excuse. Oh, it sounds like there's more crashes. Let me just concentrate. Oh, I missed the. Right, let's get going now. Concentrate. Oh, 
I can see little white sprites on screen every now and again. Little white pixels. There we go. There's a handful there on the left. Oh. <coughs> There's no excuse, but I feel like uh, what they mean by that is even if it's bad, he's happy with what's out there. So it's not a big deal. Mm. To a degree. However, he's normally got a normally got an opinion, and as he's a big fanboy. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it anyway, and I don't know whether it's true, and I'm only reading between the lines. But I think there's a few big influence out there, and so and they need to be involved. There are involved in its development. I think I might be completely wrong, but I don't think so. Matt B, definitely try it. It's looking like being quite an interesting sim, obviously based on modern endurance racing. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's after the races that we've had in AMS2 on the stream and with yourself, Matt, and with the uh, Older Drive Championship, I'm very, very intrigued to see what the difference will be. And I think Peter Smith, uh, with his donation tonight, has put me in a position to uh, to try it anyway. So a big thank you and a shout out to Peter Smith there. I'm having a wobble. Oh, how I missed him, I don't know. <laughs> you would looked at my pedal inputs just. <laughs> you would have seen the throttle and the brake flashing. It's <laughs> alternating. I think I think the other thing as well with Lamar Ultimate is the uh the opportunity to try cars that are missing from AMS2 in the different classes. Oh, hello. Wow. Land. Didn't even see the donation in the top left. Peter, you're an absolute legend. He is indeed. But I'll be racing with Peter tomorrow night in another championship race. And it's a balmy one. It's uh, the Rallycross Mini at Taruma. <laughs> so that's going to be a slide fest. I'm looking forward to that one. I haven't even... I didn't even know until tonight what, it, what the combination was. And I haven't done any driving uh, practice for it, so. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that like. And if you haven't already, maybe consider hitting the subscribe and definitely, definitely get into chat. We've got a great community, a great bunch. Have we heard anything um, about online uh, lobbies and stuff with uh, Lamar Ultimate? Uh, Matt B, for me, it's good to have several different sims. We are sport for choice, all slightly. Absolutely. At the end of the day, the, <coughs> the genuine different amount of choice and presented in a good manner. So I can, 
at first I did like the idea the way rain sport was going with how open it was and the extra early access and stuff like that it just hasn't panned out quite as well as they could have delivered so hopefully the more ultimate with the early access will be a, a different experience altogether Uh, that was good driving by Shingaling, he saw me having a moment. I do like his name. I don't think he realises he's got um, DRS available. It felt like somebody's just put the heating on in there. It's just gone really warm. That is the strangest thing. You know, when the central heat, if you're lucky enough to have central heating, when the central heating first comes on, you suddenly feel a warm. Nothing's on fire. <laughs> That's my any smoke. It's just gone, just gone really warm in there. It's, it's Lamar. Axe in the PC. <laughs> I will read read your next message in a moment, Matt. <laughs> Porsche curves really give me issues. Uh. Woo. Need to work together with Shingling. Try and use him to draw me closer to the front of the pack. Have we got somebody off? Oh, what's that all about, Matt? Come on. That being no lobbies breach should have RF2 star daily race system to start with. Lobbies later, I believe. Oh, okay. Oh, the RS is open. Just grab the curb. Hello. Oh. Do you know if they've got any um, ooh, Discord channel set up yet, Matt? Official ones or um, mainly Discord, is it? I suppose. What else is coming out soon? There was, some, there was something else, wasn't there? Matt's thinking out loud with flat spotted tyres. Front right's worse than the front left, but they're both quite bad. Right, Chingaling is actually helping draw me closer to the next couple of cars. I think they've had an incident. Oh, I've got so much understeer, it's ridiculous. Thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that. What else is coming out, Matt? Is GTR coming out soon, or is that late, later on in the year? There was some... There was some... to type but uh, nearly 200 mile an hour not easy <laughs> Ian hello how are you how's things in Ian land we've had a, we've had a good some nice conversations tonight chat again we always seem to it's really nice 
I haven't even asked any questions tonight like I normally do. <laughs> From my question list. Oh, I really struggle through it. Oh, I really struggle through it. Oh. Oh, big correction there. Desperately trying to keep up with Shingling in front. Since he come past us, he hasn't really escaped like I thought he was going to. It's gone hazy here at Lamar. Late in the afternoon. Yeah. I was really looking forward to... Uh, the stream tonight again. I always do. And it's turned into a really nice one. I was really... Oh! Shingling's gone. What was that? That was a weird tank slapper he got on there. Am I close enough to number five to make a difference? Three minutes plus one lap. Front tyres are absolutely disintegrating. I can't see the car in front for the windscreen wiper. I must be aiming at him. That's right, Ian. I'm just really pleased you managed to pop in and uh, say hi. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, you're fading off the brake, man. <laughs> Slowly getting the hang of this car. Famous last words. Ooh. We've had no of uh, we have had none of them in this race so far. We had some in the slower classes earlier today, in the Copa class Classics, and there was some house we drove that was a bit slower. Right. I think the nose cone keeps flicking up in front of the windscreen when I hit a certain speed. I think that's what that weird flash blob thing is. That's officially the best I've ever done, though. Porsche curves. Well, thank you for the hearts. Can I have some for tomorrow as well, please? I'll keep in my back pocket and save them for tomorrow. Woo! Stop, 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 stop. Go, 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 go. Stop, stop, stop. Go, go. Yikes. Oh, come on. And with Lamar Ultimate, we'll be able to have a, a real good comparison between AMS2 Lamar and Lamar Ultimate. Because, in all honesty, I haven't managed to drive anything that feels quite this good. Do we? Do we know if uh, Lamar Ultimate is going to? I mean, this is a stupid question, but I'm going to say it out loud. Do we know if it's definitely going to do day night time cycles? I think I've seen something somewhere. 
It's a stupid question because they're bound to, aren't they? Oh, can we catch him by the end of the street? Not likely. It's too far ahead, even with the slip street. Unless he makes a mistake. Oh, we are gaining. Won't be at the end of this one. Might be at the end of the next one. Oh, I took the wrong line. Come on. Have you been busy working, Ed? Or have you had family stuff, commitments? Don't have to answer that, by the way. I'm just being noted. Or have you done something exciting? Could Len? Len got here late, and uh, where he's going, he's still recovering from his birthday yesterday. Uh, that's the one thing you missed, Ian, as well, is you missed me singing happy birthday. Uh, Peter Smith, don't know, but it, uh, it must be a given. Yeah, well, that's why I, <laughs> that's why I said it was a stupid question. <laughs> We're talking a game that is, well, a sim that's dedicated to endurance racing. And endurance racing involves going through the night, so that's why it was a stupid question. But... Knowing the industry the way it is, I might be completely wrong. Yeah, I, I would think they have to, don't they? I wonder how good the uh, weather physics are going to be as well. The weather physics, the weather dynamics, I should say. What about changing drivers? What about, like, proper endurance? There's so many questions. No, 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 get round. Mind the wall. Oh, that was close. Cryx, there is eight minutes of footage on their YouTube channel with night gameplay. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Thank you for that. Oh, there's a slow moving car. Where's he going? No, 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 no. Well, I don't deserve fourth place because I was gifted a place by Shingling or Shangalang, whatever his name was, and then that crash just was unnecessary. One more. No, that's it. Thought there was one more for a second. Yes, thanks for that info, Crikes. Do appreciate it. Because that's the, that's the problem. You can you can be so busy. We're getting ready for like lobbies like tonight and recording videos for the weekend and stuff. You don't always get a chance to look at everything everywhere. Right, I enjoyed that one. That was a nice race. So what, what shall we do next? That's the question. Let's have a look at the randomizer, see what it's got to say for itself. And yes, it's available for free still. Either scan that QR code with your phone or go to the web address down there and you'll see the shop and you'll have the option to Download it for free or pay a small donation like so many have and I really do appreciate the support. Right, well we done P3s. Uh, don't want to do another stock car, I don't, don't want to do them, especially the that track. Oh, Londrina in the Brabham, Brabham BT44, shall we? <laughs> Cheers Paul! See you later. Right, before you go, the randomizer has picked... This This may decide whether you do go or whether you stay. But yeah, I, th I my guess is you're going to go, no, I'm going. So I'm going to ask you now, what would you like to hear come up? 
<laughs> You're not playing the game. Uh, we've got Londrina Short with the Brabham BT44. That's an interesting combo, that is. I'll put it up on screen. It's the one with the uphill hairpin. And then you got that like tight chicane that drops back down the other side. And there's if it's the one I'm thinking of. Oh no, I've got it wrong, haven't I? No, I oh no, I'm right. Hang on, I'll put it up on screen for you to see. Hang on. I'm doing a short. This is the easier one of the two layouts. So that's the circuit. Uh, you're, cur you're curious, aren't you? I can, I can hear you thinking. <laughs> No, no worries. I understand. Thank, thanks, Joel. Thank you. Right, where are? Come on. It might be interesting there. It might be carnage, but it might be interesting. Oh, we got Bruce Law in. He's quick. very generous <coughs> oh he's not in chat anymore thank you Matt B that's very very generous Eddie hello how are you and you have to enjoy martinis as well whilst you're racing The Brab BT44 plus long green up short. The race seven. No, I really do appreciate it, Matt. Thank you. So what have I missed in chat? <laughs> in the AMS to chat? <laughs> How are you, Eddie? I was gonna say, I was gonna say, what have I missed? <laughs> so what's so what's happened? I've I, I've not been up to date with what's happened. Oh, you've gone, Pete. Yeah, can hear now. All over you like a rash, that's the last bit I heard. Mm. 
Ja. Hi, Len. Happy birthday for yesterday, Len. <laughs> Carry on, Pete. Sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Cold tires. I haven't driven this since the uh, the last big update. So. Oh, hello. It's a drift machine on coal tyres. <laughs> Do you want to have a go at read, reading chat at the same time, Lee? <laughs> For a few, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what car was it in? I forgot which car you was driving. Like. To have a look, you've, made, you've, you've got me curious now. <laughs> on, the, on the Nords, it, it was on the cards at one point, but uh, <clears throat> people tend not to watch the video for too long. <laughs> yeah, although they might watch it for that reason. But th three lap challenge on the Nords is so hard to be consistent just for three laps. Yeah, I, I would definitely have to practice some more. I couldn't just go blind into three laps in the car. <laughs> yeah, we're all very good at the first three corners. <laughs> <laughs> right, catch you guys in a minute. Confused Oxygen, hello, how are you? You've got exactly three minutes before the cutoff. Shift, manual shifting's a whole different thing in this. <laughs> You're rushing. <laughs> Frederick! No, I'm using the um, the lobby's mine. So sim at the top of the screen, Simracer's Arms 3. It's the third lobby that we set up, but we're using the... Uh, we're using the riser 
servers. It's just easier for me at the moment that way. Oh, the big fat tyres on the back of this car adds that extra dyna dynamic to it. The sidewalls kind of pull and stretch. Hello. Too aggressive on the gear shift down. I cheated then. And again, I, I, I grabbed the paddle. <laughs> All right, Pete. See you later. Did you enjoy your pancakes, Pete? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, 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 hello. That was my fault. I completely missed my gear shift down. Computer Docs, you're not doing too bad. Just came back from the driving rage with my... Oh, excellent. I, right. <laughs> I know I have to ask this really, like, carefully because it could go one of either way. Did you have a nice, relaxing <laughs> driving range? Or was it frustrating howling you've come back with the bent club? <laughs> What's the lobby called? The lobby is called what it says at the top of the screen. At the Sim Racers Arms, number three... It might be full. That's the only other thing. We've been full most of the night. And we've, we've been changing servers. Let me get out of the way of whoever's coming down the hill. <laughs> I'll get out of the way of that car as well. <laughs> Trying to get out of the way. You made me get in the way. <laughs> You've had a great. Oh, that's that's all right then. I, I I don't I don't swing the club myself, but I know people who do, and they either come back like really happy or extremely frustrated. So, and that's one reason why I've never took up the uh, the the art of swinging a metal thing because I would get engrossed. Finding a way through is difficult at the moment. It's either me blocking the way or somebody else. Uh, great session, smashing it, excellent. I've got some elderly neighbours who live opposite and they're uh, husband and wife and they're every day, all day, together. Nice, nice people. Oh, hello, Ian. Uh, for much longer. Uh, what's the time? No, this is probably the last race, but you're more than welcome to jump into chat. We've got Len over in chat, and we've got Grumpy Old Fart, aka Ian. So, oh. it's definitely worth jumping in and having a chat with those guys. Confused oxygen. It's either great or horrible. Yeah, I understand that. That's that's why I was tiptoeing around. What is going on there? I have no idea why it did what it just did. I was I was probably a third on the brake. The tires aren't too up. Oh, okay, Ian. It's up to you. It's up to you. Uh, like I say, we've got two, pe two people over there at the moment. And we'll be on f for at least another 16, 17 minutes. Oh, 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 oh. Them rear tyres. Too much fun.
That was 1.8 seconds behind. Unbelievable. Crikes! Ah! And this traffic was horrible. <laughs> well, you heard me say, didn't you? You see the me blocking the way or somebody else. Short track. Full lobby. This is what we get. Thank you for all the likes, if you haven't already. Please consider hitting that like. Really would appreciate that. Oh, oh, oh. Ian, I will catch you on Thursday. No worries, Ian. You have a great rest of your day. Go and, go and rest up that. I think that's it. Is that how you do it? <laughs> no, you have a good one. Thank you for popping in here. Do appreciate it. Cry frustration. Well, we haven't had the massive crash into term one yet, have we? That, that, that's when the frustration really hits. I'm going to put plenty of fuel in. Uh, I don't think I want to mess with anything else. We might have a bit more aero. What can we have? I'll have two clicks on the aero because there's only that one long straight. <laughs> is that your catch? Is that your own catching? Is it? <laughs> Good luck, both. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that earlier. I was, I was saying to uh, Carlos, uh, "Hope he has somewhere to cool down because he's suffering with thirty plus degrees." And then I was saying to Mike, "I hope you can get it warm because he's at like minus four or more." Good luck, everybody. Don't jump the start. Oh, I've jumped. Hello, hello. <laughs> tangled, tangled. Tangled axles. <laughs> Look at the tyres on these things, right? Let's pick. Let's pick our way through here. Oh, hello! He snuck up the inside. No! <laughs> Oh dear. Here we go. Sounds like there's sounds like there's a bit of an incident at the bottom of the hill. Let's get this over and done with as quick as we can. Hello, straight on. We didn't do that in uh, quality. Still straight on. What what's going on? What's going on? Right, I'm going through. <coughs> Get this out of the way, then we'll do some hot lapping. <laughs> There's people choking on Discord, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's a relatively short pit. <laughs> They're still giggling over on Discord. I don't know what's going on. Right, settling. <laughs> I think the issue we have with this uh, lobby at the moment is a car that people very rarely choose and a track that people very rarely choose. I've driven this track a few times 
in a couple of championships that we've had. So the track's not a problem, the car handful of times. You gotta get the gotta get the momentum into the corner correct, otherwise it just wants to understeer on the way out. curve with these big fat tyres and it just bounced me across the track. Well, all I can say is I'm not last and I've done a drive through and I've been off and I've been crashed into all in the same race. Oh, we're going to get another off track. See if you can catch that, Alexander. Oh, where's he going? Oh! Okay. Who's next? They are Ditchy. I think that's how you say. Oh, somebody had a big crash, is that? Oh, <laughs> <Can we need? laughs> oh no, they were both scissoring across the track. Give me another minute or two and I'll have the hang of this car, he says. It's yet another one of those cars in AMS2 that once you master it, it can be really rewarding. Who's next? Got nine minutes plus a lap. No, not for this one. Oh, final warning. Not good around this track to have the final warning this early. Freebie. Oh, we shut the door. We'll use the grass, shall we? Where's he gone? <laughs> Look at that wobbly. <laughs> Or another. I've worn my sorry button out today. That was definitely. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say that was my fault. However, he did break really early for that corner. 
and I anticipated that and got up the inside of him. Didn't expect him to release the brakes and come back. Been useless. I wonder how high up I can finish on the leaderboard <coughs> if I do another drive through. <laughs> and I've got a grumpy old fart who's over in chat at the moment. I'm not likely to get past him in a hurry. So we might need to just dive in. And do a. No, I'm gonna go another lap. See if I can gap the people behind. gonna go one more and then we'll come in and serve that dry through <laughs> Definitely have to be patient. No, 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 no. That weren't a spin. Nothing to see here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got Len in front. He's also over in Discord and he's just announced, knowing that I can hear him, that he's not going to let me pass. <laughs> I was going to do a dive on him just before the pit lane. <laughs> I might get past him after all, he's just crashed. No! What a horrendous pit lane entry. Oh. Come on, car. Come on. Come on. Play with the throttle until the front grips. <laughs> we ended up now. Fourteenth. Oh, hello. And that downhill section, you're basically driving it on the the brake once you get to the midpoint of that downhill section controlling the the slide of the car and the brakes oh who's in front have we ended up in 12 who's gone off
two minutes plus one lap. We've got a chance. What the way that... <laughs> what the way the air ram on the top oh, wobbles around. I had to cheat. I had to use the pod pedals. The poddles. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I said poddles instead of pedals. They're scro squabbling away. <laughs> Come on, man. That thing looks like it's full. <laughs> it's a clown car in front. Oh, a bit of grass. I thought we were going to touch. <coughs> oh, another two laps. Oh, he's had one. Sweating. No, I've missed that one. Caught it. <laughs> no, come on. I'm sweating. I'm leaking. Last one. Yeah, so yet another AMS2 car that once you get used to it, it's really rewarding. If you put the time in, yeah, you can get a lot of fun out of it. I nearly caught you, Ian. Nearly caught you. I, I, I've got the same. <laughs> no, no, one more. I thought there was only one more the last lap, but apparently there's another one more. There's never enough one mores, is there? Well, we were looking at the clock. It looks like we were nearly lapped by the leader. And your car looks hysterical. Ian. Yeah, yeah. Mine probably looks the same, but... <laughs> You're wobbling along. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very entertaining to watch from back here. With, with your air ram on the top and your wing wobbling away. Why, why have you gone off there? 
You haven't, you haven't, you haven't done that all right. Let, let that be let that be a lesson to you in <laughs> so there you go everybody thank you so much for joining the stream that's the last race it is uh, 9 20 in the p.m here in the uk and it's been a very pleasurable night of racing or evening or day or whatever it is wherever you are and fantastic chat as always really do appreciate it peter smith you're a star for that donation and really do appreciate that welcome to the new subscribers there have been a, a nice handful of new subscribers so welcome along to everybody and for those people joining late i'm so sorry that we're ending now but we are and i will see you on thursday have a good one i've got a championship race tomorrow in the rx minute cheers in che cheers Lynn. <coughs> i've got a championship race tomorrow with peter and the gang over at slipstream and it's in the mini rally cross at taruma i think we uh we saw earlier uh confused oxygen uh, it's a shame I try and make it on Thursday. Yes, we, we end normally around this time on a Tuesday and a Thursday, so that gives you a guide. And we've been on for... How long have we been on for? It's not showing up on there. We've been on for probably five hours. So you guys, have yourselves a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you all on Thursday. And thank you, Kevin M. Thank you, Crix. Thank you, Confused Oxygen. Thank you, Peter Smith and Ian and everybody else in chat. If I missed everybody out, anybody out, I apologise. Until the next time, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And until the next time, let's be careful out there. Have a great time.